Hey guys, welcome back to my beauty stash, or welcome if it is your first time here. Hello, my name is Steph. I would love to have you as a subscriber, so be sure to click on that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching. Today we are going to be trying out everything that came in this massive box. This is the Wet n Wild by Little Twin Stars collection. Now I purchased this myself from the Ulta Beauty website. Um, I do get some things from Wet n Wild in PR. However, this collection is something that I bought myself. I haven't received it. If I'm going to receive it, then I might do a giveaway with it. But if not, this is what I bought uh, online Sunday. It is Thursday when I'm filming this video. I bought it Sunday morning from Ulta Beauty Online, which to my knowledge, is the only place you can find the entire collection. Everything is sold separately, or you can get the PR box, which I think retails for $75, less your Ulta coupon, you do the math, but a lot of stuff came in that box. And most of the stuff I was able to fit in this really cute little bag, and there are the little twin stars right here. I'm not very familiar with this character, I know it is from Hello Kitty, I believe. It's part of the Sanrio uh, cartoon franchise. Uh, I'm just not, I'm not entirely familiar with it, but I just thought it was too cute. Like, it's just too cute. I love the Wet n Wild box set, like collections and things like that. I've been buying them ever since they did uh, that mermaid collection a few years ago. Like, that just got me hooked. And so every time they would come out with a box set, I always purchased it. And I've been doing so for a number of years, with or without the YouTube channel. So I definitely wanted to pick this up, try it out for you guys. You all know Wet n Wild is... One of my favorite brands at the drugstore, and I just want to quickly go through all the products that came in the big box in case this is something you want to pick up, make an amazing gift for somebody who's maybe more familiar with these characters than I am, or maybe for a teenager because I do think it leans a little bit on the kiddie-ish side, or just maybe for yourself. Maybe you're like me, you think it's cute, you want to have it on display in your beauty room, on your makeup shelves, totally understand. So I'm going to start with the stuff that didn't fit in the bag. And one of them is this really cute little cup. And it has the uh, twin stars there on the front. And then on the back, it does say Wet n Wild um, by Little Twin Stars. Really cute. This is a brush cup. There are two brushes uh, that came in this set. And I'll get to those in a second. Um, another thing that I thought was just super cute was this makeup sponge holder. Now, I have the one that came in the SpongeBob collection. I actually have that at work. But what I don't like about it, it's the same packaging. It's like that rubber silicone packaging. The lid doesn't stay on. It's just something that's meant to like sit on your vanity. And then you put the lid on top of it and it stays put. It's not something that you necessarily travel with. And that's what I thought I was getting. That's what I was needing. So this particular sponge holder, it's something that you're just going to want to leave sitting on the desk or on the vanity. This little part comes off, so it's like a cloud. And then um, you have the two different makeup sponges in here, which FYI, Wet n Wild makes some of my favorite makeup sponges at the drugstore. I have one right here that I just used to apply my foundation, which of course is Wet n Wild. It is the Tinted Hydrator. I got my new shade, my correct shade, which is fair for the fall and winter. Um, but I thought this little uh, sponge holder was super cute and I like the little cloud shape. Now also in the collection were four different eyeliners. I like this. I like this. I haven't seen this from Wet n Wild, so I'm really excited. I want Wet n Wild, and what I'm hoping we get in 2022, I'm hoping that we get the Breakup Proof Liquid Liner in some other colors. So Wet n Wild, if you're watching, hope and pray that that is on the way for us, because y'all know that is my favorite eyeliner, but these are uh, retractable pencils, and you get a blue, a white, a yellow, and a pink. And guys, I've already swatched everything, so before I get into the demo portion of the video, I will insert those swatch photos so that you can see what everything's gonna look like on a fair to light skin tone, but I like this. I like all of the colors. One thing that I've already applied and I have on right now is the lip scrub and the lip balm. This one is the lip scrub. So obviously I went in with this first and then I went in with the uh, Sweet Dreams lip mask. 
too, too cute. Now, the entire collection has a scent to it. So if you picked up last year's, um, my, what was it? My Melody, my Karomi, I have a video where I'm demonstrating the entire collection because I bought the box set. If you want to check that out, that entire collection smells exactly like this collection, which is like a raspberry or strawberry scent. Now, the fragrance does go away, but it's a little bit strong at the first so just wanted to throw that out there in case some of you are sensitive to fragrance um you're definitely gonna notice a scent with all of these products now one of the main things that y'all know i'm excited about is this eyeshadow palette this is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette there are pressed glitters in this one i believe there are three or four i forget if this one right here was a pressed glitter. I'm pretty sure it is. I know for sure these three are pressed glitters. Um, there might be three or four. I, I don't remember. I, I swatched them all. It was earlier today, um, but I'll definitely include those photos. But this is what we're getting. It's pretty much a very light color story. There's not a lot of depth with this palette. I mean, obviously these are the deepest shades, but I'm going to be creating two looks for you guys with this Cotton Candy Clouds palette. And then we also get two different face palettes. Um, so in this one, this one is called, what is this? Sparkling Star. And that's what it looks like there. So you get a blush, which the blushes in each of these palettes are really creamy, really nice. So you get a blush, a highlighter, and then this is just like some fun glitter specks. It has stars and moons in it. So I thought that this could also maybe be a Halloween collection, like a Halloween look. If you didn't want to do all of the blood and gore and stuff like that, um, then this is something that you might want to pick up and use for Halloween because, you know, this is definitely something that's fun it's festive it's not something that I would wear on an everyday basis but sure thing I definitely wear these two shades on an everyday basis so looking forward to trying this out and then the other palette is called shining star and um, this is what we get so same thing you get a blush a highlighter and then that like glitter sparkly shade there um, it's just kind of like a pressed glitter except it has like little stars and moons and stuff so really cute and then we also get four different lip products which i'm liking these i'm liking these a lot we get two glosses and then we get two lip mousse and the lip mousse is a really comfortable formula it's more of a like a velvet matte formula but i do really like the shades that they included so looking forward to trying those out and then here are the brushes are too cute here are the two brushes so we get a face brush and then we get an eyeshadow brush and they do have the glitter handles and let me place them in the cup and they can sit like that on your vanity how cute and then last but not least in the collection is a setting spray which i've already tried as soon as i got this uh, collection in i started spraying everything on my face so let me give myself a spritz right now before we get started and there's definitely a scent definitely a scent to this but the mister on it is super, super fine. This is called the Twinkle Star Glow Face Mist. And guys, I am wearing, I'm wearing pretty much a full face of Wet n Wild makeup, which I'll have a link in the description box of this video. But I am still obsessing over this Huda Beauty Glowish Powder. I mean, I love a glow. What can I say? I am really enjoying this. So I'll have everything linked in the description box in case you want to check anything out some of those links might be affiliate links so if you do end up purchasing i thank you thank you so much because it all really helps me out here on my channel just helps me be able to buy stuff to review for you guys and i just appreciate you guys so much those of you that are able to shop through my links let's get started guys oh and here's the bag here's the bag empty so pretty much everything fit inside the bag the eyeshadow palette doesn't fit inside the bag but it's cute it's nice um i always need a good little plastic makeup bag something that i can clean really easily and just take with me and go and this will do just fine so if you guys want to see the new wet n wild by little twin stars collection in action keep on watching
right, so let's start first with one of the lip products. I'm gonna go in first with the lip mousse. This one is in the shade On Candy Cloud 9. How cute is that? I am applying this over the lip mask that came in the collection. So that feels really good and I really like the shade. Um, I think it feels a little bit more hydrating than it normally is because I have the lip mask on underneath, but the shade is perfect. Now I'm gonna go in with a gloss and I'm gonna go in, what is this one? This one is called, this one is called My Lucky Star and it does have a little bit of a glitter, well, like very fine micro glitter. Oh wow. Ah, oh, pretty. And it does have the same scent. That looks nice. That looks nice, it feels nice. I like the little shifts in color. It's like a pink to purple. Really nice, really cute. I think it goes with the collection. All right, so now we're gonna try the face palette. And I'm gonna start with this one first. This one is called Shining Star. And I'm gonna use the face brush that came with the collection. So I'm gonna dip into the blush shade first. I do have bronzer on. I have a Wet n Wild bronzer on. So this is a very subtle shade, but it's showing up, it's pretty. But if you like a subtle blush, then this is definitely something that you might wanna pick up, but do keep in mind it's scented. <laughs> and normally guys, like fragrance doesn't bother me. Like it really doesn't, but I mean, this is something that like I can, <laughs> I'm aware of the scent. <laughs> But look, that built up really nicely. I like that, that's so pretty. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the highlighter shade. Wet n Wild, you guys know, I love Wet n Wild highlighters and wow. Oh my God, wow. Okay, let me get this brush and just kind of blend. Now you know why I love Wet n Wild highlighters. Beautiful, woo. Definitely right up my alley. Now I'm not gonna do this, but you've already seen it in the swatches. It's cute, it's nice, but you know, I'm getting ready for bed <laughs> right after this video. So maybe at the end, maybe I'll apply a little bit, but for right now, let me get done creating the two eye looks. And then if I can incorporate um, the two like pressed glitters that are in the face palettes, then I most definitely will, but it's cute. Um, would I wear that on an everyday basis? Probably not. And now I'm gonna go in with Sparkling Star and I'm going to clean off that brush. I have a feeling these two shades are gonna be just super similar. So I don't necessarily think you need both palettes. I mean, unless you're gonna get the whole box. But um, I have a feeling some of you might not like the highlighter in this one, just because it looks like it's gonna have a, a bit of a blue tint to it. But yeah, to me, this blush looks almost identical to this other one, but nice. Like I'm definitely getting pigment. All right, now let's dip into the highlight. That's definitely blinding too. Go in with the blush brush. I love it. Love Wet n Wild highlighters. I think they're so awesome. All right, guys, so those are the two face palettes. Super cute. Uh, love the blush, love the highlighter. We'll see about incorporating the pressed glitter in a bit. What else do I need to try before I move on to the eyeshadow palette? I think I think we're good, I think we're good. So let's start now with creating two looks using the Cotton Candy Clouds eyeshadow palette. Now I primed my eyelids just using some concealer and this is the concealer I'm using. It is the Wet n Wild uh, Incognito, Mega Last Incognito Concealer. This one is in the shade Fair and it's unset. I did not set the concealer. Okay, so let's see, what do we wanna do with this palette? We definitely have a lot of uh, very like, 
neutral, I hesitate to say, but pale tones kind of in this area. And then this, of course, is the deepest side of the palette. But I really want to incorporate the blues. So I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, this looks like it's one of those matte shades that has a little bit of sparkle to it. So I think I'm actually going to start with this in the crease, like in the transition area, and then build into these two blue shades. And I'm going to use the eye brush that came in the collection. I'm just going to be running this in the crease. As you can see, it is very, very light. And there is kick up in the pan. But it is building up. Like I can see that as I'm going in with more, I can definitely see that it's getting a little bit darker. I mean, it's not going to get that dark. It's not a dark shade, but at least you know you can build it up slightly. All right, now I'm going to take this Wet n Wild brush and I'm going to dip into the blue. I'm going to apply that all over the lid. So this is also one of those matte shades that has a little bit of sparkle to it. And this is one that I can actually see the sparkle. Usually once you start blending out these shades, that little sparkle goes away, but I can see this one and I don't mind that at all. I think it just goes with the collection. Okay, so that's cute. Again, a very, very sheer wash of color. You're not going to get too much depth with this palette. I mean, we'll see. We still haven't tried these two shades, but I don't think that I'm going to be using those two shades in this look. I will probably reserve that for the second look. I kind of just want to do something a little bit lighter for one of the looks. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this blue shimmer shade and I'm going to apply with my finger first. Oh, that's pretty. Let me get a damp brush. So I'm going to spray the brush with the setting spray that came in the collection. There's definitely kick up in the pan and I do feel like I'm getting fallout. But that blue is really pretty. So yeah, definitely you can see the fallout there. But I like that. I like that blue so, so much. All right, now, now I think I'm just going to apply some of the pressed glitter. I'm just going to apply that to the center. Actually, this doesn't... This doesn't really feel like a pressed glitter. It feels like one of those shades that has like the micro glitter in it. It's very fine. It's not like a chunky press glitter. But I like that. Look at that sparkle. That's so cute. All right, now for the lower lash line, I think I think I'm just going to go I'm going to keep it like all blue. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think I'm going to go in with this shade. I have this little pencil brush from Wet n Wild that I'm using. I've always enjoyed using Wet n Wild brushes and usually around the holidays, like it's usually around Black Friday, they release their brush set, like the holiday brush set, which is probably going to look similar to this. I've collected two of them over the years and I mean I use them. They're here. Uh, I reach for them and I like them. Pretty decent, decent quality brushes for a good price. Oh, that's cute. I like this. I feel like a fairy. <laughs> okay, now for the inner corner, I'm going to go in, I'm going to get some with my pinky, and I'm going to get this shade right here. Just tap it right there. Now you want to be careful, like, applying glitter really close to the eye, because technically glitter is not intended for immediate eye area use, but, you know, proceed at your own risk, proceed with caution. I've never encountered an issue, but I mean, you do you. Okay, guys, I am actually, no, we gotta use the eyeliners. We gotta use the eyeliners. I wanna show you um, what the eyeliners are gonna look like. So here they are. Obviously, we're gonna use the blue and we're probably gonna use the white. So let me do, let's see, let me try doing the white up here.
Okay, so that looks fun. Not completely sold on um, how I like the white up there, but let me try applying the blue in the waterline. Looks good. I'm going to take this down on the lash line too. Let me apply. I'm going to apply some mascara. I'll do that off camera and I may or may not leave the white eyeliner on. I don't know, but the mascara I'm going to go in with is one from Wet n Wild and this is the one from the Say by the Bell collection. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I came back with glitter everywhere. Like, you know, I just got carried away. I said I was going to apply glitter because I just taken a shower. I am going to bed right after I finish this video and it looks like I'm going to have to take another shower. Yeah. Anyway, I like the way it came out. I obviously used the glitter that was in this palette. This is the, um, what is it? The sparkling star palette, which I kind of messed up. I should have done this eye over here since this is where I use this palette but yeah I'm a little bit backwards I like it I like how pretty it looks like this is like a nice Halloween look you know again if you don't like the blood and gore and you know scary Halloween looks be a fairy just do your makeup you don't need a costume or anything just do your makeup fun like this um these are really inexpensive to pick up and it's a cute collection all around but i even added a little bit right up here to the brow bone um i chose to leave the white liner on and again i just added the mascara that's pretty much all i did and now i didn't even use a glitter glue for this i just got my finger and just started tapping it everywhere so it really is that simple it's cute it's fun uh am i gonna wear this every day no i probably would wear the eye look every day though uh minus the glitter all around it but i mean it's cute um it's definitely something that i wanted to try with this palette because i thought those blue shades look really pretty and i like the way it performed let's jump over to the left eye and start creating look number two All right, so for look number two, I want to see if we can get some depth with the palette. So I definitely want to use these two shades right here and maybe even incorporate the brown shade. So I think the first shade I'm going to start off with is, let's see, I think I'm just going to start with this shade. I'm going to start blending that in the crease, and then obviously I'll use this to deepen up the crease and the outer corner. And I'll be using the eyeshadow brush that came with this collection. This is a pretty shade. Definitely has some nice pigment to it. Now I'm going to take a Sigma E45 and I'm going in with that deeper purple. And I'm just going to start blending it out here and into the crease. All right, so we got some nice payoff with this shade. Kind of just flicking it out up here. Okay, so that shade took a little bit of work. A little bit of work, but I feel like it could be the brush. I am not 100% used to using this brush yet. Um, I grabbed it because it was the cleanest. <laughs> I need to shampoo my brushes. They're stained right now. But I, I still like what I was able to do here. Like, I, I mean, it looks good. Like, I'm not, I'm not complaining other than it, it took a little bit of work. But okay, let's see about like that. Uh, I'm going to go in with this pink shade right here. And I'm taking that on a damp Morphe M124. That's pretty. Gonna pick up a little bit more of the dark purple. Now I'm going in with the very first shade right up here at the top. Looks cute. I like that. All right, now let's do, I guess I'll go in with the glitter right here. Now, obviously you could use glitter glue I'm not, since this is not going to be staying on. <laughs> I'm going to be taking it off in a bit. But most definitely, like, if this is going to be something you wear for the whole day, you want to use the glitter glue, or even for the night, or whatever it is. Um, definitely recommend picking up a glitter glue. NYX has an amazing one. 
Now for the lower lash line, um, I really want to try the dark brown. Let, let me go in with this shade. Let, let's see what that's going to do. I'm using that little Wet n Wild pencil brush. Looks cool. You know what, I'm going to clean that brush off and I'm going to pick up a little bit of the purple. Just kind of stamp it right there, you see? Yeah, it was just the brush. I'm not used to using that Sigma brush all that much, so I don't think I've fully broken it in yet. Because this brush is applying this purple better. Cool, okay, I like that. All right, now for the inner corner, for the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with this shimmer shade right here. I'm taking that on a damp rougher 03. That's pretty. I'm gonna add a little bit of that to the brow bone. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna add, actually, no, we gotta add, well, I have two liners. Should we try the yellow? Let's try the yellow. I'm only going to be able to use one of them. Ooh, that's different. Like, completely different look. All right, I'm going to add some mascara. I'll probably do some Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner on the top lash line. I'll be right back to show you guys this second and final look with the Cotton Candy Clouds palette. All right, guys, so this is look number two. What do you guys think? Of course, Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner on the top lash line. Some more of the same uh, Wet n Wild Stay by the Bell mascara. And this is what we got. I did change the lippy. I put the other lip mousse on. This one is in the shade Lost in a Cloud. So, so pretty. And then I added the other gloss. This gloss is called uh, Starstruck. I love the lippies. I love the shades that they included. I love the gloss, the formula, everything. And I like the way both of these looks came out. I mean, something totally different on this side. Maybe something more of what the collection is intended to be over here. But then you know that you can do something a bit more wearable, a bit more everyday. Well, everyday for me, right? I don't know who wears pressed glitter every day, but I mean, it looks nice. It doesn't look like too much in your face. You don't have to go dramatic with the wing or anything like that. And that yellow eyeliner, which kind of looks more gold than it does yellow, perfect touch. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and wrap up today's video and give you guys my final thoughts on this Wet n Wild and Little Twin Stars collection. All right, guys, so I pretty much used everything that was in this collection. No, I did not use the makeup sponges, but they are the exact same as the traditional Wet n Wild makeup sponge, except these are in the matching colors for the collection. I think they're really cute. I think if you want like a little cute display piece, I love stars, um, and I just think the little characters are really cute. Um, this is something nice to pick up. You can't go wrong with Wet n Wild makeup sponge. I like the little brush cup. I think it's perfect as did I enjoy using both brushes I mean both brushes are fantastic. They're gonna get the job done and they're just really cute like something different You know than the regular black and silver Brushes that you know majority of us have the lip products all four so you get two lip glosses and two of the lip mousse Love them, love the shades, um, everything, like no complaints. I typically love Wet n Wild lip products and these are no different, really nice. They do have that scent to them, but it's something that will dissipate, but not too quickly, like give it a, a few minutes, a few minutes for it to go away. Um, I did use the lip scrub and the lip mask, no problems here. I really liked it. This really helped in applying the four different lip colors, especially the lip mask. It felt super, super hydrating. Um, the, the eyeliners, the only eyeliner I didn't get to use was this pink peachy one. Um, but I loved the other three that I used. And here's, where's the white one? Here's the white one right here. They're nice. Uh, they remind me of ColourPop liners, except I 
feel like these are a little bit more creamy. They glide on a little bit more smoothly than the ColourPop ones do. So that's an added bonus. And I think the shades are the perfect complement for the entire collection. Now, as far as the face palettes, I mean, you're probably only going to get use out of two of the three shades that are in here. Um, I, I don't see a lot of people wearing pressed glitter like this on an everyday basis, but if that's what you want to do, then have at it. These are something you definitely want to pick up. I do think the blush shades are a little too similar to one another, so I don't think both palettes are necessary. Um, I have a feeling a majority of you will like this palette. This is the Shining Star palette because the highlighter is really really pretty as is this one but this one has that more bluish silver leaning tone which is the one I have over here um, but they're cute there's something nice to add to your stash the makeup bag is cute it goes without saying it's functional I'm gonna definitely use it I will probably use it tomorrow and it's just something nice if you don't want to use it have it on display maybe with the other items it's cute and then finally I think this was it right the eyeshadow palette so the eyeshadow palette is not going to be for everybody. Um, I definitely think there's like maybe too many light tones in this palette and not enough deeper tones. So I don't know how well these shades would show up on somebody with a medium to deep complexion. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. And you also have to like press glitter. Um, there's definitely glitter in this palette. Um, definitely my favorite side of the palette is over here. Um, I was able to use, let's see, I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I used 12 out of the 15 shades, so not bad. There is some kick up in the pan. There's quite a bit of kick up in the pan. Um, you will get fallout from the shimmer shades, a little bit from the glitter shades, so definitely go in with a glitter glue and maybe just do your eyes first or lay some setting powder down. That way you can wipe away everything fairly easily. But these shades are pigmented. Now I know the purple is kind of giving me a little bit of a difficult time, but it ended up being just fine and I really do think it was just the brush I was just not used to using this brush the way I normally use some of my other brushes um, because once I went in with the wet n wild pencil brush everything was good to go but I definitely like this side of the palette much better than I like this side but it's cute I mean this is the color story this is the color story that goes with the characters that goes with the theme so I understand why they included the shades they did I just I just don't know if this is gonna be for everybody and then finally I was almost forgetting the setting spray I like it I've always loved wet n wild setting sprays I mean it's cute it smells good it has a nice mister on it I will definitely be getting some use out of it I'm probably just gonna keep it here on my vanity and interchange it with my NYX uh, what is this the bear with me I'll be using these to spray the brush to do my eye looks but overall guys I think Wet n Wild did a good job representing this cartoon franchise these characters the little twin stars You'll have to educate me in the comments. This is part of Hello Kitty, right? I'm pretty sure it is, because I know that My Melody and Karomi was part of Hello Kitty, so I'm pretty sure these have to be part of Hello Kitty too, right? I think so. Let me know, guys. Educate me in the comments on these little characters, but I think they're super cute. I'm gonna give the collection two thumbs up. I mean, if you like this stuff, you're gonna like the collection. You're not gonna buy it because this is gonna be, you know, the best makeup that you have. It's not trying to be that anyway. It's just trying to tug at your heartstrings, be something cute to add to your stash, maybe provide a look for Halloween, who knows? But this is just something that you're going to collect, you're gonna have on display, and that you'll use from time to time. Definitely there are things in here that you can use on an everyday basis, but then some of the things you're probably just gonna reserve for maybe a special occasion, like the glitter over here but let me know your thoughts let me know what you thought about the collection what did you think of the two looks I created what was your favorite item that you saw in this collection is it something you're gonna pick up or are you totally gonna pass on sound off below I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water and I will see you guys very soon bye